Welcome back to the Metro Center alongside Tim McKim. I am Mike Peck. Jim Stone ringside. Lindsey Scott, the producer of Ice Hawks Hockey tonight. Rockford will move left to right on your radio dial here in this first frame. To our left hand side, Frederick Lucier for your Ice Hawks. The Hawks are clad in their home white sweaters with red trim along the waist and on the elbows. On the wing side, Ryan Nye, the wings will move right to left on your radio dial. The wings in blue sweaters with red trim. And Tim, these are the sweaters in which the wings wore when they won the Turner Cup in the International Hockey League in 1979. Well, you know, glory days, there's a reason for that song. You just can't relive the past. Off the draw, we're underway. And let's hope that's the case tonight. Hogs won it, but Willis picked it off in the neutral zone, sent it deep. Carlander with a big hit behind the goal. Willis to Carlander, centering pass, deflected in front. Johnson will pick it up for the Hogs. He'll work it up ice at the line. Elzinga picked up Besser. Front Ulanski had it swiped away from him down there as he tried to shift it to the forehand. Johnson hard into the near side wall, but the puck is clear to the neutral zone. Pritchard will rim it in for Rockford. Far side, Brown chopped it up the far side. Johnson will run into him. Willis out with it. Cross to near side over the Rockford line. Fritzschau will clear. Now at the line, actually Elzinga held. Crossed it for Bootland. Bootland shot in front. That one knocked away by Fritzschau. Mitzi will pick it up. Cleared it to the neutral zone. Step in front of everyone. And it's dumped at the Rockford line. Fritzschau again. Who needs to step off for a change. Ties it up at the line. The wings are offside. 56 seconds in. No score. And we might see some sloppiness in the first maybe five minutes of this hockey game. And that's why it's going to be so crucial. Well, right away, Kalamazoo came out. It was that Carlander that just knocked yep. Pritchard down yep. with a major check. So, that, you know, there's two teams on the ice. You know, we get a little caught up in the ice dog. I mean, the Cavings are really jack white the same way. Detulio won in from set. The Wings will set it up in their own side. McAllister hit over there by Betts. Puck cleared to the neutral zone. Now it's picked up McAllister again. Sent to the Rockford line. Watson had the puck blocked down as he tried to clear it in. DeTulio far side. Pass blocked by Doucette. Right now the Hogs having a lot of their passes blocked by the Wings. Letizia to Doucette. Chopped over. Chased down by Nye. He'll send it up the near side. Bets in. Played it to a pile. Watson with a big hit near side. But it's picked up by the Wings. Back the other way. At the line. Tony's driver is blocked down by Cloutier. Now Letizia. Cross in the middle, turned over. Down low, McClendon, and it swiped away. Cedric missed, Cloutier with the save. Rebound to the high slot here, and the Hawks dodge a bullet. Penalty coming up on Rockford, and the Ice Hawks careless with the puck in their own zone, and the Wings on the power play, just 144 in. Well, what a save by Cloutier. He had to get that pad out there quick. Absolutely quick as a cat. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of pressure on these goaltenders, too, you know. Well, now Goldsman said Kalamazoo was shorthanded, but I think it's the Ice Sox who are shorthanded. Well, I don't even want to talk about what the deal is. Now the Ice uh, or the Wings penalty box door is still open. And they, they're questioning it, Mike, because we had the puck on our way out, and then he blew the whistle. So that's why there's some confusion. It looks like Doucette for Rockford to the box. Okay. And it will be a Wings power play. They're second in the UHL in the postseason at 17%. The Ice Sox penalty kill fifth. At 85.6, and the Hawks special teams haven't been their strong suit. Well, this is huge now. It has to be their strong suit tonight. Off the draw, it's won by the wing, but Noterman will slap it back to the Kalamazoo zone. Carl Lander will pick it up in the corner, back in his own end. Two minutes in, no score. Carl Lander looking up ice. Crossed it at the line for Nick Tonys. Tonys will chip it in. Here's Willis Delmo. Willis around near side to DiTulio. DeTulio to Willis, back to DeTulio near side corner, to the point for Tonys. Tonys crossed it, Carlander. Playing the point, found Bootland on the wing, down to Willis now. And the corner to Tulio near side. DeTulio got it in, centered it in front, chopped up the near side. Mitzi will pick it up and shift it up into the crowd there. And Mitzi was anticipating that pass a little bit too much, and it never got to him. Yeah, and you really have to be defense first when you're killing the penalties in the D zone like that. You don't be looking for offensive breaks right now, you know what I'm saying? Play that uh, high percentage game. We're good enough to get our breaks when we get them. Pace up in the neutral zone as it was deflected out by the wings. One by Ulansky, Fritcha picks it up and fires it back to the Kalamazoo zone. Still 115 left on the wings power play. Carlander will pick it up, same line out there for Kalamazoo. Surprise. 
<laughs> yeah, back the other way. At the line, Yulansky trying to break it up. Picked up Tony. Now Yulansky picks it up. Short-handed. Over the line, two on two. Yulansky high side of the goal. Short-handed five side wall for Ryan to the point and Kendall held but it was blocked by Noterman sails back to nine that was the Hogs first shot of the games the Wings have three so far 17 left on the do set minor at the line pass underneath Ryan but it's picked up far side Marley shot in front Kluge will knock it down and covered nine left on the power play one up in Rockford three 35 into the opening frame you know, and it might sound funny, Mike, but when you score a short-handed goal like that, and, and you know, in a big game like this, you got to remind your players we're still short-handed. Yeah. Because sometimes you, you come through the line, you high-five, and you forget what's really going on. Yeah. A little, and then you get a little offensive happy, right. right? Off the draw, the wings won it on top. Now hang it down low. Shot was well wide, rimmed all the way back to the wing zone. Ice or the power play over. The wings are over one. Now Zenga back to pick it up. That's one of the few times they haven't held the zone. Yeah, and I think Elzinga just misread it. Corbin will dump it back in. Hogs back to full strength. Although, Yulansky with a hit on Elzinga. Got it back. Elzinga did. Coughed it up. Johnson now. Couldn't dump it deep. Cut off by Willis. Elzinga again. Up to Carlander. Carlander had it shoved away there by Yulansky. And Corbin will feed Fritsch on the Rockford zone. Fritsch cross it right on the tape of Willis. And they're offsides. And we'll drop it in the neutral ice, 4-16 in. And that's the second poor pass that the Hogs have made that has almost resulted in a, a really nice scoring opportunity for the Wings. And that's one of those plays that, as a defenseman, when you're behind the dot, you don't make that cross ice pass in your zone. It's the risk reward. The risk is you got a shot on goal against the reward is you're only out of your zone. So you got to weigh it. It's not worth it for that pass. Off the draw, Mitzi won it from McLean. Besser behind the ice, Hogs goal now. Near side wall, shoved it up ice for Ralph, who cleared. Back at the wings end, it's recovered by Capanigri. Behind the goal, Norderman pressuring. Norderman chopped it away, Capanigri lost it. Norderman on the wall, picked up by Ralph, back to Norderman. Passed it off down low for McAllister. Mitzi trying to tie him up, McAllister. Hit there by Norderman, or by Ralph that is. Ralph would dig it out. Ralph now to Mitzi, trying to work behind the net, sealed off there, finally coming up on the wings, McAllister for interference. And the Hogs on the power play at fourth. 48 on the opening frame. And that penalty occurred because Ralph absolutely hit McAllister as hard as he could. Of course, he bounced off because McAllister is a wall. But he actually moved a little bit that time, McAllister. Right, but he actually moved a little. Yep. But he was mad. And then Ralph did a nice job. He gave the puck to Mitzi and then stood in the way. You know, McAllister knocked him over. Made a screen and McAllister cross-checked him. So it was a great play by Ralph. one nothing Rockford, their first power play of the night. Hogs are fifth in the UHL, 12.3%. The Wings penalty kill sixth at 83.7. Off the drop, puck slides down low to the wing. Now Corbin in front for Johnson. Johnson shot block. Got it back to Corbin far side wall. They'll restart it there. Corbin looking down low for Ulansky now. Ulansky far side still looking down low for Corbin. Corbin in the corner. Hogs trying to stretch it out. Lutz on top. The big drive was wide. That was a rocket. Jens. They'll wrap it in deep for the Hawks. Slides all the way around the far side. Lutz will pinch in. Picked it up. Found Johnson down, though. Johnson fell down. Oh, they're going to call a penalty on the wings. Here 
There's Ulansky to Corbett, touched up Carlander. And the Hogs are going to have a minute and 21 of five on three. And Tim, I thought Johnson went down on his own. I didn't think that was a hook. Well, once again, though, Cyril was on the other side of the rink, and he saw the positioning was there was a stick in the area, and Johnson went down. You know what I mean? If, I think if he was on the other side, he yep. probably wouldn't have made that call. Jeff Brown to the box for the Wings, and the Ice Hogs have a five on three. And this is what killed them last game. They didn't score on it. Yeah, well, you got Mitzi out there at point now with Lutz and Ulansky centering. Carlander won it. Mitzi to the point for Lutz near side. Hodge will set it up. Five on three. Lutz down low for Ulansky. He'll deflect it behind the goal. And now it rolls up the near side. Johnson over to the point for Lutz. Crossed it to Mitzi near side. Ulansky lost it. Boy, he had Corbet open in front. He just took his eye off it. Lutz to Ulansky. Back to Lutz on top. Looking, crossed it, Mitzi. Mitzi in the middle. Down low now to Cormier, far side. He'll skate it to Lutz on top. Lutz looking, Ulansky. Near side wing to Lutz in the middle. Touch pass to Cormier. Cormier in the middle. He'll unload. Knocked down by Nye. Up the far side wall. Here's Mitzi for the Hogs. Tied up over there. Chopped behind the goal. Ulansky. He'll bank it to the point, but back to the Rockford zone. And the Ice Hogs will change. Well, maybe uh, Johnson off, Watson on. Here's Corbet over. Corbet, far side. Gillis will poke it away. That's wrapped up the near side while Ulansky there. In the middle now, Mitzi fan on the one-timer. Over to Lutz now. 14 left on the five on three. Ulansky down low to Watson. Watson near side wall. To the point for Lutz. Picked it up on the backhand. Lutz in the middle. Lutz, he'll unload. Nye with the save. Rebound let out. That's picked up, Corbet. Wings get a skater back. Corbet shot in front was wide. Ulansky now to Watson. Watson to Mitzi, to Lutz. The one-timer, Nye with another blocker save. Corbet lost it behind him, and it's deflected over the netting. Hogs are 0 for 1 on the power play. Seven minutes in, one nothing Hogs. And they got 25 seconds left on a five on four. And if you notice, and, and that is because of the, the importance of this hockey game and the crowd and just the intensity, pucks are hitting our sticks and they're bouncing a little bit. We're not catching them clean right now. So yeah. as, as the players relax, it'll be a little better. But you know, right now is when we had the five on three. And the Wings win that draw and they'll clear. Cloutier couldn't play it. And that trapezoid now knocked it down as it slid back behind the goal. Jens for the Hogs, behind the net to Besser. One last rush for the Hogs. Nordeman will wrap it in. Nye got a piece of it, set it down, but the puck rolls to the corner for Betts. Betts over, trying to dig it out with Doucette, lost it. Carlander now to the point. Jens will hold. Hogs over two and a huge kill for the Wings. Puck rimmed up the near side wall. Bootland couldn't catch it. Here's Jens for Rockford to Doucette. Doucette now, he'll dump it in. Gill has bumped him off, Rockford will change. Hogs managed four shots on that five on three, Tim, but boy, they looked really, really sporadic on the two-man advantage. They look tight, they look tight. Here's Lutz for Rockford. Banked it up to Corbet. Corbet now for Ulansky over the line. He blew a tire, and the Wings now will try to play it back the other way. Three on three. Willis chopped out there by Corbet. It's picked up by Lutz. Banked it around. Tony's will hold on top. He'll bat it like a baseball player into the corner. Now Lutz behind the net for Fritsch on the near side. Fritsch near side to Johnson, to Ulansky, and he'll backhand it in. Rockford will change as Nye blocked it down. 8.20 in, one nothing Rockford. Tony's to the middle for Ryan. Derek Ryan over the line. Ryan's shot was well high. Long carom, funny bounce in the corner now. Ryan will pick it up. Shot in front was well wide. Watson over with Tony's, and Watson with a big hit over there. Penalty coming up on Watson though. And what are they going to call him for? Probably a rough, and that's what it'll be. Well, he's not happy with the call, but he did skit right to the box, so I'm sure Steve talked to everybody about the importance of let's just, you know, whether we like it or not, go to the box and stay, you know, stay focused on task. 8.37 the time of the call. Kind of got the arms up a little bit when he went in for the hit. Yeah, I can see how he could have called it or couldn't have called it, you know, but certainly uh, Tony will remember it, though. <laughs> Yeah. One nothing rock for the wing's second power play of the evening. They are, of course, 0 for 1. Mitzi into Julio will take it. Mitzi won it. Down low, here's Fritschop. He'll fire near side up into the Ice Hogs bench. 
And we'll drive it to the right side there of Frederick Lucci. Hans out shooting the wings 5-4 in the early going. Now, if Fritschow can take one more step or two more steps, he has a better angle, and that puck's all the way down, and he needs to do that, you know? Obviously trying to use the tall part of the glass and just missed it and fired at the bench. Mitzi on to Tulio, tied up on the wing now, back to Mitzi, and he'll touch it back to the Kalamazoo zone. Norderman and Carlander will give chase. And the corner, Norderman will pull back as Carlander will set it up. And I know you uh, probably would like to see Norderman hit Carlander down there. Well, not necessarily. Penalty kill? Right. Here's Tulio over the line. Look out for Bootland in front. Hogs pick him up. Tulio still with it. On the right wing to Cloutier's left. Here's a centering pass and front stuck in and the goal. Bootland got it. Big Cloutier five hole we're tied. Freddy got a piece of it there, Tim, but not enough. Well, Bootland was, was standing alone. Nobody tying up a stick right on top of the crease like that. And we had defensemen on each side and nobody picked him up specifically. They, they were like playing position, but not getting Bootland. And I, you know, I think you'd want to really pay attention to Bootland. You might want him. Bootland now in the postseason has uh, 12 goals and 10 assists. And Carlander, I believe, will get the assist on that goal from DiTulio as well. Well, that's a good guess anytime at any game. <laughs> so we're tied at one here. Ulansky and Carlander won by Ulansky. Pass up to Ulansky. Willis actually got it. Looking for Corbett now. Corbett down low. And the corner for Rockford. Left it to Ulansky. Bumped off there by Carlander. Now Ulansky got it back. Lost it. Chopped away. Here's Willis. He'll clear the zone. Fritz shot for the Hogs. Crossed it over for Corbett. Hopped over his stick there. Caught a chip in the ice. Right before it got there. Now here's Johnson breaking over. Johnson locked away from him by Brown. And back the other way. He'll carry it. At the line for Bootland. Bootland in the middle. Carliner shot blocked there by Fritschoff. Johnson trying to clear it out. Looking up ice now. That one deflected at the line. Corbet, far side, looking. Oh. Penalty coming up on the wings for holding. And Rockford back on the power play. 9.58, hooking will be the call. And Tim, more time than ever, the Ice Sox need their power play to come through. Well, we talked about it all year, and this will be a great time for it to come through. Now, he's been playing Bootlin and Carlander a lot on the PK. They certainly played on the power play, and we'll just see if they can continue to play as much as they play and perform as well as they perform. Jeff Brown, another penalty. Hogs are 0 for 2 on the power play, and once again, they failed on the 5 on 3. And Carlander's taking the draw again. Mitzi will pit him on top of the right faceoff circle in the wing zone. Carlander won it near his sidewall, and McAllister will slap it back to the Rockford zone. Carlander will step off for Derek Ryan. Another reason to win the draw because then Carlander has to stay out there. Besser up ice at the line far side. Besser wrapped it around for Doucette. Funny bounce out the door. Doucette lost it. And DeTulio will pick it up. And the glass fell out on the far side in the Kalamazoo zone. So we will drop it, I believe, in the neutral ice. I'm guessing. Are we going to drop it in the KSU zone? But I didn't even see if it was a hit down there. Let's go downstairs to Jim Stone, who is standing in the Ice Ox tunnel. I, you know what, fellas? Since uh, the last game and the way Corey Carlander dominated the faceoff circle, I've been keeping track tonight. 13 faceoffs so far. One, two, three, four, five, six of them won by Corey Carlander. The other one won by Derek Ryan. So it's pretty much 50 50 at this point in time. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've got the stats going on tonight, fellas. Keeping track, of, you better look on. We might have you keep that stat officially next year. You know, the one thing that I, I wish I would have is I wish I had a stopwatch for every time Corey Carlander was on the ice just to see how much he plays each period or bootlin either one of them. They're going to play probably four, over 40 minutes tonight. It would be easier to just use your stopwatch when they're not on the ice. Yeah. You'd have less work to do. Yeah, that's, that's probably very – it's unbelievable how much those guys play. Yeah. They so, play a ton. What about this crowd, by the way? You know what? It's unbelievable. During introductions, it was electric. They've been electric. And uh, that goal was unbelievable by Ulansky when the place just went nuts. Now that last goal kind of quieted them down. But uh, I imagine they're going to get fired back up. I'm sure they will. And, you know, we got the five-on-threes are killing us. 
You know, How do you not score when you get five on threes? I mean, we've talked about it. All, Tim said it. We've talked about it all year long. It's been, it, the power play has been a struggle for us. And, uh, you know, we've always said it could come back to hurt us. And who knows? But uh, I, I hate to see it. we got a power play now. we got a minute 40. Let's see if we can't make something happen here, and then it'll all be forgotten. By the way, light years faster replacing glass at the Metro Center of the Wink Stadium. Oh, my God. It, this would have been a 25-minute And delay. no helmets. Yeah. No helmets. That's why. The helmets slow you down. There you go. Well, thanks, Jim. All right, boys. Whoops, that's Jim Stone ringside. Wrong button there. That was the loud button I pressed. So we'll drop it. Now, my question would be why it's in the neutral zone. It's not our fault, or is it because home team's ice fell out? Uh, that's a great question. Because the puck was in the uh, offensive zone for us. Now they got ice the repairs going on down in the ice hog zone. I'd like to know why it's outside the zone, if there was a ruling on that, because the puck was in the zone when the, the whistle blew. So we're tying at one here midway through the first. By the way, it's brought to you by Rockford Bell Credit Union. For all your financial service needs, check out Rockford Bell. Rockford Bell has three locations at 4225 North Perryville Road, 702 Jefferson Street, 4 East Main Street. Rockford Bell is a full-service credit union, and they have been providing financial services in the Rockford community since 1935. Maybe because they blew the play dead before the Wings actually carried the puck out of the zone, but and they had full control. I don't know. Well, you can't assume that. Well, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I don't remember them doing doing this uh, when their glass fell. I don't remember them moving it out of the zone for them. Yulansky will tank it against Carlander. Yulansky won it cleanly, but all the way back to the Rockford zone. Besser will chase it down, found Jens. Jens now looking up ice for Johnson. Johnson will push it up ice. Headman's it over the line near side around McAllister. Johnson now lost it behind the net, banked it around for Yulansky. It'll slide to the point, Besser. Slapped it back down low to Corbet. Picked it up far side wall to the point for Besser. Besser on top to the wing, Ulansky. Ulansky now circles far side. Looking down low, partially fanned on it, but slid it down to Corbet. Back on top, Besser crossed it, Jens. Jens shot in front, redirected just wide by Ulansky. Corbet to Johnson. Johnson for Ulansky near side. Banked it to the point for Jens. Jens' drive is kicked away by Nye. Now Ulansky had it hacked away on top and sliding and knocking it out of the zone was Carlander. 48 left on the power play for Rockford. The Hogs will swap forwards and the Wings will switch penalty killers. Once again, Besser up ice over the line. Besser had it poked away, got it back, sent it deep for Ralph. Cut off down there. Mitzi went in front. Oh, that was, yeah, Mitzi went in front and the Wings were able to pick it up uncontested. And once again, it's just a game of inches. And Mitzi went the wrong way there and the Wings won that loose puck. Mitzi now will lead it again for Rockford. At the line for Ralph Farside. Behind Willis. Willis hit him. Now Tony's in. Pass in front of Noterman to Elzinga. And now the Wings having an easy time getting it out of their zone. Rockford will drop to 0 for 2. Actually 0 for 3. Here's Lutz up ice. At the center ice line. Lutz. His shot deflected up into the netting. And will drop it in just right, inside the line. But the Ice Hawks and Wings power play right now, night and day. Well, that's right, and uh, hopefully we'll get it going, and I'm sure that's going to be the difference in the game one way or the other. 1-1 one, one is the score here as we approach the 12-minute mark in the opening frame. Record playoff crowd on hand for game seven of the finals. Doucette and McLean in the circle, one by Doucette. Picked up by Letizia. Letizia shot in front block. Watson trying to dig it out. And Letizia poked it wide. Now here's Doucette again. Back down low for Watson. Watson in the corner. McLean on his back. Now Betts in to help. He'll dig it out. Betts for Doucette. Doucette now. Lost it. Chopped up the far side. Campanigri there. Back checking Betts. It's chopped to the middle for Drake. Drake went down as Hessler had a beat on him. Wings will change. And here's Letizia to Betts. Bats up ice, looking for Doucette. Doucette, high slot shot was wide. Watson trying to gather the rebound in. Bats got sniped down there, and the wings will clear it out. Three on three, long drive by Drake. Puccio will knock it down and hang on. Minute break, we're tied at one on the Ice Sox Broadcasting Network. Welcome back to the Metro Center. 7-19 left in the first frame, and we're tied at one apiece. Alongside Tim Matilla, I'm Mike Peck, Jim Stone downstairs ringside. Lindsey Scott back at the WNTA studios. Final game of the season here. Game seven of the Colonial Cup Finals. 
Face off deep in the ice sock zone. That's one there by Carlander. Here's Elzinga. He'll skate it down low. Shot. Kluge with the save. He'll pounce on the rebound. And we'll drop it again to his right hand side. But once again, case in point, you win the face off and you get a good scoring opportunity. And that's what the Wings have done. Yeah, we need to at least not lose so cleanly and try and tie up these guys so we don't get shots on net on uh, every face-off. We'll try it again to Cloutier's right. It's won by Carlander again. Hogs pressure the point. Brown shot on top. Cloutier will kick it down. Here's Bootland. Centering pass. Cloutier will poke check it to the neutral zone. And Brown will pick it up there. Knock down the rolling puck and Fennel Zinga. Worked up ice. Here's Bootland. Bootland's board pass. Let it up ice behind Brown. They said they were on sides. Here's at Ulansky. He'll clear it up the far wall. And it's dumped back in by Kalamazoo. Wings will change as it's recovered by Fritzsha. Fritzsha will dance up ice for Rockford and will backhand it in. Ralph will give chase. Down low, Brown. Wrapped it hard for Willis far side. Willis to the middle for DiTulio. Kick down Letizia. Fanned on it. Now tied up and here's Mitzi for Rockford. Around to Hessler. Corey Hassler for Ralph. Ralph to the middle, looking for Mitzi, but it was over his stick. Now DiTulio bumped off by Mitzi, but it's picked up by the wings. And now here's Noterman picking it off. He'll dump it in, Nye will glove it, and Mitzi will crash and will have a face off. Deep in the Elmira zone, some hellos to send out. Bob Hassler, Corey Hassler's father, couldn't make it down with the rest of the fam. Like to say hi to Bob, listening back up in Minnesota. And also, how about Elmira? Little bar party around in third up in Elmira, and there they got the B2 on, and Hi to those guys, and I don't even know if they got us on the broadcast. If they do, great. Hi to Owen and Robbie and the boys, and if not, we're just talking to whoever. <laughs> Face off to the right side of Nye. Off the draw, it's tied up. DeTulio will win it. McAllister wrapped it up the near side, and the neutral zone, Rycroft, crunched there by Watson, Letizia, up ice for Colburn, but it was broken up there. Watson got it back and dumped it in. Down low now, Tony's with Colburn. Colburn to it first. Colburn behind the net now, looking for Doucette. Hessler shot, stacking the pads in front was Nye. Rebound up the far side wall, and Colburn was falling back to the defensive set, but here come the wings with a four on three. Doucette trying to bump Ryan off. It's playing at the line, and Watson will lose it now as McAllister swiped it away and dumped it in. Now Hessler. Kalamazoo changes, as does Rockford. Hessler being pressured. Uses the board near his side, hopped over the stick of Ralph, and played by Gillis. He'll board pass it up in front of Campanigri, and this will be an icing as Besser was able to catch it. Boy, the Ice Hogs almost got caught in a line change there. Well, actually we did. They just didn't make a good play. Now Marley tried to get off there. He was at the end of his shift, so they do have a tired defenseman. You know. It's all about winning the draw, right? That's right. And McLean will take it against Mitzi. Fresh line out for the Hogs. And the Wings have half of a fresh line, and now conveniently we have ice repairs to be taken care of down there, and this will give the Wings a couple extra seconds to rest. It's like just debris. All right, so here we go, Mitzi and McLean. Off the draw, one there by McLean, and Wisely Knight will scoop it up. So two things, Tim. Power play and face-offs. The Hogs have been very poor in both categories. Yep, and we need to get that corrected. And out comes uh, the Bootland Carlander line again. And Martinson, O'Connor with Ulansky, Johnson, Corbin, Lutz, and Fritzshaw. We'll drop it to Nye's right again. Ulansky will take another. One by Rockford on top. Fritzshaw sets down the rolling puck. Shot in front was wide. Johnson with the rebound now. Down low for Ulansky. Behind the net around Carlander now. To the point for Fritzshaw. Fritzshaw shot in traffic. Now with the save. Rebound was wide by Johnson. He read it perfectly, but just couldn't quite work the puck around him. Here's Ulansky. Corbe. Johnson in front of his knees. And the goal! All he said was playing with a hand pass. Oh, boy. Here we go. Gonna wave off another goal for the Rockford Ice Hawks. Johnson from his knees. But they said it was a hand pass, and let's go downstairs to Jim Stone. Jim, was it a hand pass? I think it was a hand pass. The one thing I'm noticing, fellas, just on that last shift, did you notice Nick Bullen skating around, looking tired? He, he was. He took that shift off. He absolutely took that shift off. And, uh, and it cost him. He had a chance to get the puck over here, and he just kind of coasted to it. But we got possession of it back. I think it was a hand pass. 
Well, you had, you had a better view than us. Yeah, I, th I learned, you know, I, it was kind of in front of me, and the, bottom, the player was blocking me, but it looked like he made the motion. He him. called it right away in yeah, the neutral did. zone. Thanks, Jim. Jens will wrap it in. Far side wall now on top, held in by Besser for Mitzi down low, Norderman. Norderman spins in the corner away from McLean. Norderman, high slot area to Besser. Crossed it, Jens. Jens shot in front, deflected wide. Tornies will chop it to the point, Besser over. Sends it in front, now Ralph in the corner. Ralph looking, centering pass blocked by Tornies. Ralph got it back to Mitzi. Mitzi, far side, cycled to Ralph. In the corner now, McLean on his back. Ralph to the point, Besser back down low, and Tony's took out Mitzi with no call. Norderman in with a hit, but Ralph will try to cut it off. Drake now on top, couldn't clear, but the shot by Jens was blocked. Jens now tied up over there, and hard was Ralph, but it's Mitzi now. Mitzi over the line, hit it, poked away. Wings will turn it back the other way, and this will be an icing. As it's touched up by Jens, but a good shift there by the Ice Sox, Tim. Very good shift, and Ralph was working real hard. Finishing checks, making plays, he's trying to get Mitzi the puck. You know, you can see he's trying to do that. And the Wings have conveniently forgot who is on the ice, so this will waste some time. Four away left here in the opening frame. We're tied at one goal apiece. Face off to Carl, or a nice left hand side. I say Carl and are taking it, but he's not out there because they couldn't change. They really work the system well, don't they? Yeah. Wings. And now here we got another issue. Somebody threw something over the bench, so they come over and save some more time. I mean, really, Mike. It's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. It? Colburn and McLean will take it. Off the draw. Colburn wanted to set. High slot shot knocked down. Picked up Colburn. Another drive that was blocked by McLean. Letizia for Colburn. That's picked up. Letizia will knock it down at the line. It's stuck underneath McLean and dumped in. Wings can change, to set to the corner, Tony's wrapped it around, Letizia cut off over there, got backed into the plane, chipped it down low for set. his centering pass, no one home, now here's Letizia on top, chopped it to Colburn, bouncing puck, Colburn backhands it for set. looking for Watson, Watson now, for set in front, and he went top shot, but he missed it high, Colburn now lost it, Watson turns and fires, that was wide, set to the point, Hessler, Hessler banked it down low. Behind the goal now, McAllister and Watson into the corner to Camp and Eager, and he'll clear it up ice. Drake will tip it back to the Rockford zone. Icing waved off. Both teams will change. Hessler for Johnson. Johnson near side. Got knocked down. It's played up the near side wall. Fritschia out, blocked it away from Natulio. Now Kindle at the line for Ryan, but they're off sides. Three minutes left here in the opening frame. We're tied at one. Boy, Doucette had a lot of net to work with there, and he just fired it high. And yeah, he should have went high because Nye was, you know, stacking the pads and just doing the old Dominic Hasek thing. And, uh, I mean, it was the right shot, just missed it. We've really carried the last five minutes right now, but we need to, you know, obviously finish. But certainly we've carried the play, and he's also set Carl and Boomlin a little bit longer so he can play in the last two minutes, I'm guessing. And Mitzi won the draw from DiTulio. Corey Hassler will chase it down. Back out there with Letizia. Now Mitzi lost in near side. Hessler got it back, cleared it up to Ralph, banked it to Noterman. Noterman with Mitzi at the line, passed it behind him. Now Ralph will fire it in. Down low, Brown and Noterman into the corner hard. Brown will wrap it up the near side. Walt to Zinga. This is usually the defensive pair that Carliner and Poulin are out with. Here's Hessler over the line for Mitzi. Stopped on top, the middle. The Tizzius drive was blocked. Rebound on top. Corbin couldn't hold, but here comes DiTulio. At the line, his drive is deflected over the top of the goal. Corbin down low, rimmed it around for Johnson. Penalty coming up on, I believe, Rockford as Kindle got taken out behind the play. Kyle Lander will play it. Extra attacker out for the Wings. 2.05 left in the first. We're tied at one. Back the other way, Marley, long pass. Drake tipped it, El Singa at the line now, knocked down. Well, you know they didn't blow, now they blow it dead. And we'll see what the penalty is. Interference to be the call on the Ice Hawks at 18.05. And uh, Reed's little uh, city Carlander Bullen is gonna pay off because now he'll have them for the full two minutes and then they go in the locker room with the rest, you know, on the power play. So he rolled the dice there a little bit and, and now it's gonna pay off for him. And by the way, the penalty Corbet just skated right through Marley and you can't do that. 
And that's what the penalty was. Yeah, Marley behind the play. Well, it was Kindle, excuse me. It's picked up, Marley. Dumped in. Critchaw there, and he'll fire at the length of the ice. Set down by Carlander behind his own goal. Wings are one for two on the power play. We're tied at one. Carlander up ice. At the line for Marley. Lutz will stand him up there. What a hit that was. And they're offsides. Wow. What a beautiful play. Forcing him at the blue line. Lucci knocking him down. And because of that, they were offside. Perfect timing. Timing is everything, right? By the way, stay tuned for the wheels by our T first intermission report. First, it's downstairs to Jim Stone. Then back upstairs where Tim and I will break down this first 20 minutes of hockey. Critchuk cut up to the loose puck. And the ice hog zone and sent it back to the wings end. Nye to set it down behind his own goal for Corey Carlander. Carlander will push it up ice now. Far side wall for Brown. Saw Lutz coming. Brown went in high, by the way. Now funny bounce near side. The puck will skip to the neutral zone. Yulansky pressuring. Brown will ram it up the far side. Yulansky will chase Carlander. And it's punched back down low for Brown. One minute left here in the first. One minute to play. Back the other way, Carlander. Up ice near side to Willis. Willis over the line. And the corner now, bank to the point, Carlander. Carlander looking, forced it down low. Drake couldn't handle. Knocked down by Fritcha. Wrapped near side, here's Mitzi. Mitzi will skate it to the neutral zone. Now pulled it back to the Rockford side and will dump it back to the wings line. Norderman will step in. Norderman shorthanded. His drive is deflected off the near side wall as the puck was on end. 30 seconds left in the frame. And not a very good angle, but not a bad shot. Here's Carlander at the line for Drake. Ralph will break it up. Jens now trying to feed it up ice for Mitzi, but it's flipped into the Ice Hogs bench and we'll have a face off, I believe, in the neutral zone. 19.7 left in the opening frame. We're tied at one. And you can see that Steve wants the tape and broke it down and the guys are executing well because when they're pick, passing the puck from the middle to the outside for their zone entry, we've got somebody there stepping up and, and just wrecking their timing completely. Mitzi and Ryan will take it. Mitzi won it. Here's Jens. Jens for Rockford far side. We'll waste some time and we'll flip it back to the wing side. 12 seconds left. Time for one last charge for Kalamazoo in period one. Tyler Kindle will lead it. Kindle at the center ice line. Kindle over the line, shot, rebound let out. And Ulansky swiped it to the wing, and the horn will sound, and that'll do it for the first frame. Good luck by the Hawks, or by the wing. A nice ovation from the fans. Ulansky Johnson will start up front as Corbet will hop out in five seconds. Lutz and Fritschaw on the defense. And of course, the Carlander Bootland, Willis line <laughs> up front with Elzinga. You know, when you call the game, you, we just, you should just say when they're not on the ice, otherwise everybody can just assume they're on the ice. Yeah. Ulansky and Carolina and the circle. Off the draw, here's Ulansky. Far side, he's being impeded there by Carolina. Puck will slide down low, power play over. The wings are one for three. That one backhanded in front, almost turned over. And it's chipped near side for Willis. At the line, Ulansky went flailing for the puck and fell down, but here's Fritzsche. It banked it up ice for Johnson. Now it'll slide down low, and it's the Wings picking it up. Here's Brown near side. Brown's pass for Poulin. Hit there by Lutz. Now into the mix, Corbet. Willis now hit Lutz. Puck deflected at the center ice line. Johnson will recover. Banked it up for Corbet, but too far in front of him. Here's Brown looking for Bootlin. Bootlin fanned on the dump in pass. Got it back. Hammered over there by Johnson. They went down. Now Johnson actually poked it away from Noterman. And Bootlin will clear it over the line. Here's Lutz behind the Rockford goal. Capanigri will pressure. Fritz shot to Ulansky. Ulansky touched it at the line. Didn't get much on it. And it's cleared up by here come the wings. Drake, but they're off sides. 103 into the second. We're tied. Now one goal apiece. And Yulansky's at the end of his shift. Certainly he wanted to get it in deep, but it looked like he had very little left to do that. And he was on his backhand when he tried to dump it. So that's why it didn't get in deep. Now they say, you know, empty the tank. And boy, when you're this late in the season, Kalamazoo's 99th game and the Ice Sox, I believe 95th, the longer you're out there, the really greater toll it takes on your body as the game goes on. You can't recover as quick, right? Right, you need to keep your shifts you know, consistent. Tony's will dump it into the Ice Sox zone. Loose puck recovered by Matt Jens far side. Left it to Besser. Chopped it around for Norderman. Norderman cleared it to the neutral zone. McAllister there, backhands it near side wall in front of the penalty boxes for McLean. 
He'll gain the ice hogs. Land will wrap it in. Far side corner. Drake touched it up the wall for Ralph to pick up. He'll chop it now. Noterman. Noterman over the line. Noterman trying to set it up in front, but McAllister was there. And it's cleared to the line. Besser will block it into the air. Ralph will knock it down and pass it back off to Jens. Jens off the glass. Looking up ice for Ralph. Ralph looking to touch it over, but the 50-50 puck was chopped back the other way, and the wings are offsides. So we'll drop it way back in the Kalamazoo zone, just inside the line. 145 into a 1-1 second period. A lot of stick work off the puck, a lot of stick work, and uh, he's letting it go right now, but you can see neither team likes each other at this point, which is normal. Seven games. Right. These two teams have played more in the last two weeks than they did in the six month regular season. Wings won the dry, here's Marley. To the neutral zone, the Tizia there. He'll dump it in, but once again, Watson finished the check and the Hogs have to wait before breaking over the line. As they were off sides, it's worked that back the other way, dumped into the skates of Hessler. Here's Coburn looking up ice for Watson. Lost in skates again. Hessler had his pass popped into the air and here's DeTulio gloving it down. Near side, DeTulio looking in front blocker saved by Cloutier. Ryan behind the goal. Near side corner, one on one with Coburn. Left it deep, DeTulio with Letizia now. DeTulio skates around him, in front. DeTulio taking out, penalty coming on the Hogs. Shot fired wide, and that was a mismatch. Marley near side, hammered there by Watson. Hawks can't touch it up, and now they do. And boy, Letizia got taken to school down there, Tim, and it nearly cost him a goal. Well, what he did was, instead of remaining on the defensive side of the puck, he started to chase DeTulio, and once you do that as a defenseman, then you're you're chasing uh, butts, they say, to the net, and you can't be doing that. You need to just step back and let him come back to you, and instead he tried to, you know, get on the offensive side of that play, and that's why he was chasing, and that's why DeTulio drew the penalty. And really not a bad penalty to take, I guess, because he was open in the slot. I don't even know if he was trying to take the penalty. He was just... Yeah. Out of position. Corbet will bank it to the line, held in by Brown on top. Now to the wing, far side, forced away, Corbet. Hog short handed, Corbet for Ulansky near side. Over the line, Ulansky's drive is deflected into the netting there by Brown. But the Ice Hogs will draw a face off, even the Kalamazoo zone. Tied at one here, almost three minutes into the second. Good effort, and Ulansky, Corbett did a nice job getting the puck to Ulansky, and then I saw Lucci from his defensive position jumping, going hard to the net, so, you know, we're, we're playing good hockey right now, and Frenshaw stayed back while Lucci jumped, so, good play. Face off to the right side of Nye, Carlander and Ulansky will take the drop. Off the draw, tied up, Ulansky trying to kick it down low. It's picked up, Corbett now, Corbett near side. Corbet all the way back to the Rockford line for Fritzsche. Fritzsche will stick handle in his own end and now flipped it back to the Kalamazoo zone. That wasted about 10 seconds. And the Wings are restarted with 1.25 left on their power play. Elzinga up ice for Brown near side. Brown will gain the line and will wrap it in. Fritzsche caught up to it. Yulansky was able to shield up Carlander. And the puck will roll back to the Wings and in Rockford will get a fresh set of forwards out there. Now there's zone entry there. They knew we were going to step up, so they waited for him to step up and chipped it in deep, so we need to be expecting that. There's Bootlin at the line for Brown. Brown near side. Back to Bootlin down, though. Bootlin behind the net. Looking for Carlander in front, but passed it off to Elzinga. Back to Bootlin. Bootlin to the wing, Elzinga. Looking down low for DeTulio. DeTulio. And it's swiped away by Lutz, but got it over to Carlander, now Fritsch on tied up, Norderman will poke it to the wing, but here's Carlander. Carlander shot, missed it high. Paco rattle to the point, Buddy Bones in front, now a high slot area, Mitzi there, and he'll clear it out, and the Ice Hawks caught a huge break down there. 30 left, Rockford will change again, now Mitzi picked it off, Mitzi, shot blocked, rebound, Ralph couldn't get the backhander off. Oh, he had a wide open net there, Tim. Nye was still behind the net when he had the puck. Here's Jens now down low. Drake will slam him into the back wall. Mitzi up ice, cleared the zone. Wide open net and Ralph couldn't find the backhand. Gillis to the middle for Ryan. Ryan over the line. Back on top for Willis to Ryan down low. Looking toward the point. Here's Ralph looking up ice. Tipped up for Betts. Hogs are offside though. Betts couldn't wait. 437 into the second. We're tied at one and Betts was too excited down there. But Ralph did see him, it was a nice play. And uh, the 
fact that it got tipped, I think, is probably why we were offside. If it wasn't tipped, it would have been over faster, and I think we wouldn't have been offside. So a drop it just outside the Rockford zone. Hogs will switch lines. It'll be Corbin, or excuse me, do sets line with Batson Watson. You know, we're five minutes into the second. You can feel the tension. You know. Yeah, tied game here in game seven. Rockford one and Hassler banked it up ice. Wings are one for four now. It's cleared to the neutral zone over the head of Hassler. Here come the Wings. Ryan over the line. Drop pass. Shot missed it high. Now do set down though for Betts. That's board pass to Watson, banked away. Now Doucette will step in. Doucette over the line. What a move! Doucette, but he lost the handle on it. Bank to the point, Letizia. Drive in front, and I will kick it into the netting there. And once again, Hessler took a gamble there, and the puck hopped over him, and it set up almost a three-on-one opportunity. Well, that was a nasty dangle by Doucette. That was nasty. Yeah. And he had Watson coming down the left, and it looked like he was actually trying to get to him. He does see the game, there's no question. Face off to Nye's right. Yeah, he's only played, what, maybe 13 games? Let's look at the sheet here. 14, this is his 15th pro game tonight. All in the playoffs. Off the try, Ulansky and Carlander take each other out. It's played over to Bootland now. Backhanded it over the line. Willis down low, icing will be waved off. Willis, centering pass, hammered back there by Lutz, never got it up. Now it's worked to the point. Brown had it blocked by Ulansky. Passed it up by Johnson. Hogs will jump. Johnson over the line. Looking in front, and it hit Corbet in the leg. Pass was behind him, and the wings will clear it out. I'd Ooh. like to see him step across and just rifle his snapshot. He's got a wicked one. Fritz now get this. Oh, look at that hook there by Carlander. Holy smokes, no call. Behind the net, Nye. Wrapped it around on top. Fritz hit there by Carlander, but held it in. Now here's Brown. Johnson will run into him. Brown will give it up to Elzinga. Chopped it off the near side glass. Now in with a big hit. There was Jens on Willis. Puck coughed up. Brown got it back and cleared. Jens will knock it down at the line. In the Rockford zone now with Bootland pressuring. Uses the glass looking for Ralph. Now it's skipped over. Here's in the high side. Notermitt shot. Now with a save. And it's stuck in the goal. thinking the whistle was going to blow, but Nordman was in the right position to see where the puck was, still between his legs, and kept pounding on it, and it dribbled in, and I don't think Hatlin hit the back of the net either. Almost identical to Nice, except Nice was a little bit more finesse. Nordman's a little bit more grinding. The next shift is really important. Two to one Rockford here in the second. Played back to the Rockford end. Blue Jay will set it down. There's Jens down though. Looking near side for Noterman. Noterman couldn't clear it out. Now it's knocked down by Drake for McLean. And Mitzi will wrap it around. McAllister on top will work it deep. Captain Egri behind the goal for McLean. McLean stopped in the corner. Jens will get the helper. Everyone falling everywhere. Cedric pass, that one's broken up. Here's Noterman for Besser. Besser over the line. Besser fires winning on nine. Nye will glove it. Jens will get the assist on that goal by Noterman, and that is his fifth tally of the postseason. Nice play by Besser. He didn't have much, but he saw Ralph streaking down the right side, so he put the puck on that. Unfortunately, it was right in nice glove, but it would have been down on the ice. We might have had ourselves a rebound backside goal. Face off to Nice, right at the Metro Center rocket again. Off the draw, one there by Doucette. Watson breaking through. Watson in the corner for Coburn. To Watson now. Watson hit there by Gillis. Watson behind the net. Looking. Fan on the centering pass and Kindle will work it to Ryan. Derek Ryan now over the line. Shot deflected by Letizia to the corner. Hessler chopped it up the far side. Chased there by DeTulio. Worked it down though. Hessler now. Oh boy. Hit Kindle and no call. And here comes Rockford again. Coburn. He'll dump it in. Down low for Marley. Marley hit there by Coburn. Gillis out with it. Doucette knocked it down. Looking for what? Uh, that's Johnson. Oh, Johnson hammering on the back wall by Ryan. To Doucette. Doucette in front for Letizia, but it was deflected up the near side. Here's Ulansky hesitating. Down low to Johnson. On the wing. Johnson. 
with Ryan for Corbet now. Johnson to Corbet near side wall. He'll turn and fire. Blocked in front shot. It was fired just wide. The goal lay went out, but Yulansky missed the net. Puck is flipped back the other way. Lutz in a foot race. Icing will be waved off. Here's Lutz now. Long pass up ice. Tipped at the line for Johnson. Now Zinger got back. Now in bank back the other way. Fritzsche hit the linesman. Corbet will dump it in. Oh, Yulansky had a beat there, Tim, and everybody in the building, including the goal judge, knew it. But it didn't go between the pipes. I thought he was taken down on his way to the net. Here's Willis, drop pass. Ralph in front, celery pass, Carlander, broken up now. Far side, Walt Noterman. They'll saucer it up, ice for Mitzi. Over the line, celery pass, and nine. Couldn't quite reach it, but nobody on the doorstep for Rockford. Backhanded deep by Noterman, here's El Zinga. Eight and a half into the second, 2-1 Rockford. Puck to the neutral zone. Willis up the near side wall. Fritzschaw now will chase it down. Behind the goal with Putland on his back. Fritzschaw spun away. Grabbed it hard near side. Nobody for the Hogs on the wing. Capanigri had it poked away and it's cleared back the other way. Icing will be waved off as it'll die before crossing the line and Rockford will get a much needed change. Long pass up ice, that sails the length. Icing waved off again, deflected by Kalamazoo. Lutz now, had it popped into the air, Drake down low. Mitzi to it first, Mitzi ran in front, and apparently coming up on the wings as Mitzi was interfered with, and the Hogs on the power play, 9 14 into the second. High sticking for sure, and the referee's looking at Mitzi to see if he drew blood. And guys are really working hard. I mean, you can see both teams are. And yeah. There's a lot of plays that are not being made, you know, cleanly because the intensity of the game, you know. Rockford's fourth power play. They're all for three. They're leading 2-1. We're doing a nice job, except for that last play where we sent it to nobody, yeah. of, of chipping it out, but not getting icing, and chipping it in, and that's and then banging, and then paying off. Yulansky, Corbe, and Johnson. Carlander in the circle. It was actually won by Yulansky, but Carlander reached behind him and swiped it up back to his point. And it's fired over the Rockford line where Cloutier will stick it down. Drake will get the high sticking minor. Here's Besser. Over the line, rattles it in. Far side corner, Corbet. Lost it down low, got it back. Now it's blocked to Carlander. That one chipped to the neutral zone. Besser, board pass to Jens. Bootman will have to pull back. Jens now, up ice, looking for Yulansky breaking over. Yulansky a front shot, he missed it just wide. Here's Corbet now, back to Yulansky down low. Yulansky looking, to the point, to Jens, hesitates. Yulansky, to Jens in the middle, Jens near side. Back to, looking for Yulansky, now it's centered in front and broken up easily by McAllister. One minute left on the Hawks' power play. Wings will change. Here's Ralph at the line. Kicked it over. Corbet high slot. Corbet shot. Nye with a save. Kicked it over the top of the, of the goal. Besser to help dig it out with Ralph, but it slides over to McAllister, and he'll slap it back in on Cloutier. 45 on the power play. Wings complete their line change, as do the Ice Hogs. Mitzi will glide up ice at the line for Noterman. To the point, Lutz. Shot. Hit Ralph. Lutz will chase down the rebound. Brings it back to the point. Found Mitzi to Jens now. Near side, Jens looking, hesitates. Lutz is one-timer, that was wide. Mitzi caught up to the rebound. Back to Lutz on top. Lutz to Noterman. 17 left on the power play. Noterman for Mitzi to Noterman. Drive, that one deflecting up into the crowd. And we'll have a face off in the Kalamazoo zone with 11 seconds left on the power play. 11-0-3 into the second, it's 2-1 Rockford. And when we move the puck quick, we're getting opportunities. When we catch the puck, stand and wait, try and find the lane, then they, they really do a great job of stopping it. So if we can just keep moving the puck quicker, uh, we'll have more opportunities like we did there. If the Hawks can win the faceoff here, they'll have an opportunity. It's to the left of Nye. And Lutz, Lansky will take it. Lucha needs to know there's a guy coming out of the box in 11 seconds. Off the draw, Carliner won it clean. The Elzinga slapped it to the point over the head of Fritsch. John Rockford is 0 for 4 on the power play. There's Fritsch now. Yeah, Behind his own goal. Fan on the pass. Got it back. Oh boy. Carlander lurking in the high slot area. Giving up to Corbet near side. Corbet will hammer it in. 
Popped over the stick of nine, here's Ulanski. Ulanski down low for Johnson. Shoved away from him, now Brown with it. Brown hit by Johnson who needs a change with Corbet. Here come the wings. Back the other way, it's worked to the line. Poulin hammered it off the linesman's leg. Wings are off sides, now do set. Do set up ice. He'll backhand it in. Watson down low, we're trying to give Chase Nye there. It's wrapped around, Coburn. Coburn looking for Watson. To the point, Bester's drive. Kick behind the net by Nye. Now do set. Do set to Coburn. Coburn's show was just wide. Now Besser. Watson will let it slide for Doucette. Doucette bouncing puck down there to Watson. Coburn behind the goal now. Brown will shove him. Watson, one timer was well wide. Jens now on top. Jens for Doucette. To the middle. Besser bouncing puck. Held in. That one wrapped down though. Elzinga hit by Watson. Doucette will gather in the loose puck. Set it up, but the Hogs need a change. Here come the wings. Capanigri now. He'll chip into the ice hog zone. Besser down though. Capanigri all over him. Now Jens trying to give it back to Coburn. Norderman in to help. Norderman will take it out. Back the other way. Norderman at the center ice side. will backhand it in. This will allow Rockford to change, which that was important because they were tired. Here come the wings. Capanigri at the line. Hessler will clear. Now Ralph bats it down, knocked down Capanigri. 13 minute mark in the second, 2-1 Rockford. That one hammered on the wings bench, minute break, Rockford by a goal on the Ice Hawks Broadcasting Network. 13 minute mark here in the second frame, it's 2-1 Rockford. Welcome back to game seven at the Rockford Metro Center, at the Rockford Metro Center right now. And it's, uh, it's a tight one. It is a tight one. And I think we're doing a nice job of playing a higher percentage game of chipping it out, chipping it in. And uh, it's paying off for us because we're getting opportunities to finish our check. And I think Reeds is waiting for his power play, you know, by wrestling the guys a little bit right here. Because usually he plays his big boys off the breaks like that. And that's what Martinson was waiting for. It's the Campanigri Drake line. Puck now picked off Besser. Over the line. He'll dump it in. Ralph will try to give Chase Tony's for McAllister now. Behind the net, outlet pass deflected by Mitzi, knocked down Noderman. Noderman hammered it over. Nye, he'll set it down behind the goal. Noderman steps up. McAllister again for Tony's near side wall. Tony's long pass picked off. Ralph, his drive is deflected into Nye, and the Ice Sox needed a change. That's why Ralph probably didn't take another step or two, but still the wings now starting to turn the puck over a bit. Well, another example of a defenseman making a pass from the hash mark cross ice and it's right there you know it's a, just a low percentage play when it works it looks cool but the fact is that you play percentages well they're all for the last two ones that's not a good percentage <laughs> and i'm not a math major no you're not let's confirm that right now carlander won the draw deep in his own zone against Ulansky. johnson stepped in here's corbet with carlander on his back corbet breaks free now brown will step in to help Carl Lanner got it back. Carl Lanner working it up ice. Off the skate of Bootland. Fritzsche, he'll backhand it at the line. It was blocked down. And now here's Willis. 14 minute mark in the second, 2-1 Hogs. Corbet blocked it, here's Ulansky. Ulansky fanned on it, trying to cross it over, got it to Johnson at the line. And he'll exit Corbet and he'll dump it in. Johnson down low. Johnson looking for Watson. Watson looking to Coburn. Coburn lost it. In the corner, Johnson. Chopped it to Coburn, around for Watson, but cut off by Elzinga. Banked it around for Bootland. Look out up ice, long pass, Willis. Willis looking up ice now, around Fritzsche, who bumped him off. Fritzsche hit over there by Bootland. Puck in the corner, Willis stepped in, hit Doucette, but Fritzsche dug it out to Watson now. Watson will fire one in. Nye lost it in the corner. Here's Marley down low with Watson. He hammered him into the corner. Coburn hard into the corner. Puck clear and here's Besser. To Jens, Hogs will change, dumped in. Nye chopped it down. Pressure there by Betts. Caught up to by Jens. Jens shot in front, Nye will steer it to the side. Doucette will swoop in to pick it up. To Mitzi, now Betts. Betts to Mitzi again. Hogs doing a, cycle, a bit of cycling. On top, Jens to the middle. Hold it back to the point. He'll fire in front. I will kick it away in traffic. Near side, Willis hit by Norderman, but here come the wings. Kinder, here's the Tulio at the line. 
Near side, Mitzi ran into him and hammered him to the ice. Mitzi behind the goal. Caught up the first by the wings to Tulio. Down low, Mitzi again ran into him. Freed up to Gillis, now here's Betts. Hill Claire trying to find Norderman. At the line, Jens. Shift it there, now here's Kendall back the other way. Rockford wanted to change, but Kendall will push. Drop pass at the line. Shot, Blutier with the save. Juggle the rebound. Now Ryan Shaw was blocked to the wing. Kendall shot in front, rebound loose. McLean missed it, top shot. Now McAllister broke the stick. He played it with the stick and that's a penalty. Lynn's will get a penalty as McAllister played it with the broken stick. Time for the penalty, 16-04. No doubt about it, Tim. But they thought, they didn't dodge a bullet. They dodged an animal bomb down there. They did dodge a bomb. Two things. One, this period we have cycled as well as I've seen the team cycle all year long. And the other thing is, their defenseman, did you see Marley, when he was, he had lots of feet by four feet, he turned around and waited to try and brace himself and didn't even get to the puck. Yeah. So, I mean, those are the little things that are happening. In terms of that stick breaking, I think that's a little unfair in terms of, he shot the puck, I don't think he realized it until he tried to play it, dropped it, and it was too late. I mean, you got to give the player some kind of opportunity to realize his stick's broken. Right, right. So, well, that, what is that, a delay a game? Well, here we go. And Hessler's got a broken stick. So he'll go back to the bench to get a new one. Kind of a quick call on that, but we'll take it. How many penalties now do we have each? Uh, well, it was even at four apiece. Now the ice hugs. So we know who gets the next one. <laughs> yeah. And Rockford is all for four. Here's the Hogs winning the draw. Carlander at the line for Bootland. Now low, now Bootland on the wing. Played it back to the neutral zone for Brown. Crossed and Elzinga. Back to Brown, it's a game of keep away. At the line, Carlander will tip it over. Now Ulansky at a 20 seconds off of the power play. Lutz to Hessler, hammered it in. Icing is waved off, now we're gonna call it. Well, what is that? Oh boy, a miscommunication. And uh, the Ice Hawks catch a break there. They're gonna drop it to the left of nine. Well, if they go to center ice, oh, it's yeah. the kick, or the wing. You know, I mean, their player clearly tipped it. There's absolutely no way that's an icing. And, now and the guy on this side, the near side, called it right. when it was fired from the far side. And we had the puck in their zone, now it's center ice. It's one by DiTulio, and here's Elzinga slapping it back to the Rockford zone. Lucia will set it down for Besser. 3.20 left in the second, 2-1 Hogs. 1.20 left on their power. Besser for Corbet, over the line. Corbet, centering pass, Ulansky shot! That was blocked in traffic, and back the other way, it's pushed by Elzinga. 2-1, on 3, Elzinga. Down low now, Besser. Trying to hack it away from him. It's worked over to Corbet. Hogs trying to gain puck control. Two wings down though. Drake does a great job of getting back deep. Trying to freeze that puck. Boy, he's eating a lot of time off of this power play. And it's one out by the Hogs. Here's Ulansky. Ooh, dangerous pass there. Off ice to nobody. And Gillis will dump it in. Ulansky got it back. Carl Leonard and Bootland back out. 40 left on the power play. Ulansky dumped it in. And the Wings will pick it up uncontested. Slapped the near side behind Norderman. And another icing. Clucci will wait for it. Carlander will take it away. Look out in front. Wide open net. And Carlander couldn't pick up the loose puck. Hodge right now are being out muscled and outworked in their own zone. Here's Norderman. Center ice at the line. Dumped it in. And his hesitation forced it offside. And absolutely got off along the power play right now. It's embarrassing. That was terrible. They're pressuring us in our zone. They're pressuring us. We just need to move it. I mean, they're doing a nice job of killing right there. And, uh, you know, if they're going to be committed that deep, if we can get that puck out, we can jump and get some odd man rushes, but we're not doing it. Mitzi and Carlander will take the draw. Carlander won it, but the Hogs will pick it up with Lutz. Only 10 left on the power play. Norderman now, he'll wrap it in. Took a hit down there. Hogs are gonna drop to Wolf for five here in a second. Mitzi tied up, trying to get it back to Norderman. That's slapped up into the netting. And we'll drop it to the right side of nine. 
154 left in the second two. One, stay tuned for the call for second intermission report. It's downstairs to Jim Stone. And then Tim and I will break down the second frame with stats and highlights. And the Lonnie Scarp and Max out of town scoreboard. That shows Carlander's hand eye coordination because that puck was actually it could have been a high stick, it doesn't matter, but he swung down like a baseball bat and hit it clean. Home run. Yeah. Over the fence. Off the draw. Wings will control. Get to Leo down low to McAllister. McAllister looking up. Ice picked off Ralph. Ralph will dump it in. Now Tony's. Tony's board pass blocked by Ralph. Ralph looking down low now for Rockford. Dropped it off. Mitzi shot. Blocked down nine. Rebound loose. Chopped to the point. Besser crossed it for Missy behind him. Mitzi picked it up on the wing. Mitzi now wrapped it in for Norderman. Norderman for Mitzi. Mitzi behind the goal there. Tied up by Tony's, Jeez. almost tackled. Now Ralph whacked at by Drake. Mitzi near sidewall, tied up on the wing. Ralph down low, Corbett and McAllister will fight for it. Down low now, they're tied up. Mitzi out with it, centering pass blocked. Got it back, around to Corbett. Corbett in front, shot blocked in front. Johnson with the rebound. Johnson looking to Mitzi. Mitzi to Corbett. Corbett. Behind the goal now for Johnson to flex it in front, but Johnson had committed. And the puck worked to the neutral zone. Under a minute left in the second. Here's Jens. Jens circled in his own end. Jens shaking bank at the line. High slot area. Jens trying to drop it up, but Mitzi was changing. Now Willis will bump him up, and he'll play. Behind his own goal. That one hammered up ice for Bootland. Hopped over his stick. Fritz on Bootland down low. And the corner collide. It swung out to Carlander. Back into the mix with Fritz on Bootland. 20 seconds left. Johnson down low. Fritz there. Fritz on near side. Carlander all over him. Wrapped up the far side wing to Ulansky. Board pass now. Here comes Besser. Two on two with Watson. At the line. Watson's drive was wide. Seven seconds left. Besser will tie it up. Three seconds, Ulansky, centering pass, nobody home, the horn sounds, and the Ice Sox head to the locker room with a 2-1 lead. Carlander and Ulansky will take the draws. Off the draw, won by Rockford, Corbin will chop it in. Down low now, Brown, Corbin down there just knocked down, trying to skate to the loose puck and it's cleared. Ulansky will dump it in again. Here's Elzinga. Behind his own goal, will start it from there. Near side to Carlander. Carlander had the stick lifted by Johnson. He'll dump it in again, Rockford will change. 25 second shift there, Tim. Here's Brown, long shot, that one deflected behind the Rockford goal. Fritzsche will chop it off, trying to get a whistle down there. Ralph now will clear the zone. Tony's will pick it up in his own then. Up to Bootland, cross to behind everyone. Campanigri hopped on, picked it up. Norderman at the line for Ralph. Ralph to Mitzi far side. Mitzi down low, looking in front. Now here's Jens, shot. That was wide and I never saw it. Here's Ralph for Rockford to Mitzi down low. Mitzi in the corner, banked it to Ralph. Ralph near side, no support there. And it's recovered by Elzinga. And it's worked up to Bootland. That one fired over, Bootland hit there by Norderman. Hans will change again. That line for Kalamazoo finally stepping off. Ralph, that one's wrapped in. Here's Nye for Drake. Drake lost it, Nye fell down. Tony's to pick it up. Watson gives chase. Now Tony's looking up ice, fires it to the center ice line. Besser there to Coburn. That one fired over Nye. We'll send it down for Tony's. Tony's behind his own goal. He'll work it up ice. And the neutral zone, Tony's, stick check, try back the other way, Doucet on the break! Doucet, in front, he missed it well wide, nowhere close. Here's Letizia, to Doucet down low, looking in front, shot, save! Rebound loose down there, nobody can find it. Wings pick it up, to the corner. Here's Coburn down low. Oh man, two opportunities. Doucet now, who's out of gas? That's fired back the other way, and this will be an icing. That's in on Cloutier, so it's waved off. Oh man, a breakaway, Tim. And Doucette missed the net by about a foot and a half. Nice one-handed pass by Watson, just a no look, knowing that Doucette was going there. Mitzi's pass behind Johnson, but Ralph is there. He'll chop it in. Set down by Nye, here's Marley. Hit by Mitzi, but the outlet pass picked up by the wings. Into the neutral zone, now Norderman. 
He'll send it over. Mitzi will catch up to it first. Mitzi down low, behind Marley. Mitzi now, behind the goal, working a near side. Mitzi on the back end, never got a shot off and it's cleared. Rye Croft up ice for Ryan. Ryan working with Lutz. Lutz now, back ended pass was blocked. Behind the goal, sitting on the rail, Ryan out with it. Far side wall, here's Mitzi now. His pass was blocked. Ryan will chop it down for Kendall, far side, Ryan shot, Cloutier with a save. Detulia with the rebound, tied up behind the net. Now here's Fritzsche, trying to clear it up the far wall, blocked in traffic over there, Ryan to the point, but Noterman is there. Noterman, center ice line will touch it in, Rockford will change. Here's Brown, 3.20 in to the third. Ulansky stood up at the line by Brown. Picked up the loose puck, gave it up to Elzinga. Chipped over to Willis at the line for Bolin. Bolin, nice play there by the Hawks, cleared it to the point. Brown drive, that went not just wide by Cloutier. At the point, Elzinga couldn't hold. Here's Brown, fired it over, gloved down there by Jens. Both teams with good chances here to start the third. Yulansky for Johnson over the line. Corvey, but they're offsides. Nobody can pick up the rolling puck. 3.50 into the third. Two to one, Rockford. And Mike, every shot, you can see people in the stands putting their hands on their heads and taking deep breaths. And this is really exciting, isn't it? This is big time here. Packed house at the Metro Center. I mean, we had to put extensions on the press box today to accommodate all the media. Yulansky and Carlander will take it again. Carlander won it back to Brown. Brown crossed to Elzinga. Elzinga to Brown. Playing catch in their own zone. Brown, up ice, at the line. That went over everyone's stick. It'll be an icing. As Fritschott touched it up before Willis could catch it. And we'll bring it back to the wing zone. Now here's an interesting dilemma. Carlander and Butlin are used to playing every other ship. And Yulansky and the, and the boys aren't, but well, look what uh, Steve's doing now. He's going ahead and changing because he knows he can't play them as much as these guys play right. and still get the same performance level out of them. Doucette will take it against Carlander. To the right of Nye. Off the draw, Watson in front trying to pick it up. Watson on the wing now. Down low to Doucette. Doucette hit there by Brown. Bruce in to help. Overskated there by Carlander. Now it's shoved up the near side, Carlander and Doucette. Carlander fell down, puck near side wing, Coburn there with Bootland, and Bootland will slide it down low for Brown. Jeff Brown has a loose puck behind his own goal. Forced far side to the neutral zone, that one skipped back the other way, and icing waved off as it's in on Cloutier. Wings will change, here's Fritzsche. Board pass up ice, that'll sail the length of the ice, this will be an icing, as Gillis will touch it, and we'll bring it back to the Rockford zone, 441. Into the third with a 2-1 Rockford lead in game seven. And there's an example of, you know, the tension in the game and everything, but he had time to actually, you know, move his feet a little bit and get a different lane. And of course they're being told, let's chip it out, chip it in, let's play percentage hockey. But it's, you know, so we ice the puck. But guys need to relax a little bit, still play your game, but you need to relax, controlled aggression. Coburn will step in for Doucette against Mike McLean, the rookie centerman. To the left of Cloutier, one there by Coburn, here's Fritzsche. Fritzsche, near side, trying to clear it out, blocked in traffic over there. John Searle, the referee, stuck in the middle of things. Now, Fritzsche jousting down there, puck, high slot area, kick to the line. Here's Doucette digging it out. Doucette, long drive, Nye will block it up the far side wall. Marley and Watson down though. Watson swooped in and picked it up. Lost in his skates now. Marley played it to the point, back the other way now. Cabin Agri, and the wings got numbers. At the line, Gillis will just dump it in. Jens will work it up the far side wall. Cabin Agri there, down low. Look out behind the net, McLean. McLean will work the corner now. Besser was picked down there. Sendry pass, Cloutier with a great save. Rebound bank behind the goal. Here's Watson. Watson to the center ice line, will send it in. Mitzi in a foot race with Gillis. Mitzi, tied up down there. Trying to dig it out, he'll slide it up the far side for Ralph. Ralph to Mitzi. Mitzi on the wing. Looking, backhanded for Noterman, hit him in the arm. Detulio picked it up and Ryan will free it up. Buck slides to the Rockford end for Jens. Jens, 
Hand over in the corner. Centering pass in front to Tulio. Got knocked down. Puck pops up in the air. Picked up there by Norderman. McAllister will hold. Norderman trying to work it behind Tony. It's shoved to the corner. Now Ralph will chip in the air side. Here's McAllister. Shot in front. Floats in with another save. Rebound set in front and nobody there for the win. Oh, the ice off. Again, dodge another one. Puck is iced and it'll be touched up by McAllister. But once again, Tim, you got to get the puck out of the zone. Yeah, you, you know, you can't play panic hockey in terms of get the puck and just send it out. You know, you have to still you know, play your game and support each other. The five-foot pass is sometimes better than just kind of bring it around or chip it out. So, Luce looked outstanding there. You know what? We've got two good hockey teams out here today. 6-19 into the third, 2-1 Rockford. Mitzi and Carl Lander to Cloutier's left. Mitzi won the big draw. Cloutier knocked it down. Jen wrapped it up for Ralph. Ralph will chip it back to the wing zone. Icing is waved off. Rockford will change. Big time win there. Now here's Willis at the line. Lutz will hit him. And kick the puck behind the Rockford goal for Fritzschaw. Banked it up to the line. Johnson couldn't clear. Setting over on the far side wall. Willis there with Carl Lander. And a big hit by Fritzschaw leveling Carl Lander. Now Lutz taken out by Bootland. Bullen with the loose puck to the point for Brown. Brown shot in front, hit Willis. Banked over to Johnson. Johnson to use the boards and the puck will skip over the wings line. Icing will be called again. Seven minutes into the third, two to one. And all the Ice Hogs on their heels after such a solid start to the third period. It was another example that Johnson had about six, seven feet to move. He had center support, so did a little move. But, you know, they're, they're playing that high percentage game, just chip it out. And, you know, you can, at some point, you know, you're going to have to still play the game. you got to play the game. Plus, he had two wingers to work with. McLean I mean. won it. Off the draw. Show was fired over the top of the goal. Another drive. Kicked right off the far side by Cloutier. Corbet, board pass to the neutral zone. Capanigri there at the line now. Gave it up. Picked off Corbet. Corbet will lead the rush. Trying to skate around Marley. Corbet shot it just wide. He'll chase down his own rebound, lost it behind him. Marley is there. Marley near his side. Now Ralph to try to force it free. Ralph picked it off for Mitzi. Ralph now down low. Shot. Nine knocked it away. Here's Noderman. Noderman, far side wall. Down behind the goal for Ralph. Back to Noderman. Hacked in his skates and chipped to the neutral zone. Now Jens, his shot deflected way up into the crowd. And will drop it in the neutral zone, Tim. A franchise record for postseason hockey, 6,236 here at the Rockford Metro Center tonight. Geez, with uh, two days notice, that's uh, outstanding, and it you know shows the support that these guys have in Rockford. So. We thank everyone for coming out, and of course everyone for listening. Off the draw, McAllister won. Far side, or not McAllister, he picked it up off the faceoff win. Dump back to the Rockford zone. Hessler's pass blocked by Ryan. Down low for Rycroft to Ryan. Hopped over his stick. Watson trying to force it free. It's held in on top. Everybody on top trying to hold. Letizia with Watson. He'll chip it free for Rockford. Behind Tony's, who had done a great job holding the point there. Great job. McAllister's pass at the line. Knocked down Colburn. Colburn trying to thread the needle. It's blocked by Natulio. At the line now for Ryan. Ryan poked away there by Letizia. And the Hogs will chop it into their own bench. 8.20 into the third, 2-1 Rockford. Ball drop it to Cloutier's right hand side, just on top of the face-off circle. That'll be Ulansky taking the draw for Rockford against Corey Carlander of Kalamazoo. Off the draw, Carlander will pick it up, play it to the point for Brown. Brown shot, that was just wide. Poulin had the stick lifted there by Johnson, play to the point, the Lalzinga for Willis. To Carlander on the near side wall. Carlander cycles, here's Fritz Young, collides with Willis. Carlander over to help. Now it's worked up the near side, Ulansky knocked it down with the skin, here's Fritz Young. Fritz Young crossed it, Corbet. Corbet at the center ice line, slaps it in. Puck rattles up the near side, Johnson there. Hit by Bootlin. Now Carlander in the middle. Long pass to Willis. His pass up ice. Bootlin off the end of his stick. Fritschow will play him into the wall. Now Lutz for Rockford. Slapped it up the far side and into the neutral zone. Brown is there. Jeff Brown for Elzinga. 
Now Zinga near side. Bra or Bootlin playing it behind the goal and nobody there. Now Elzinga chased it down and he'll clear. Flipped in by Lutz. Puck bounces in the corner for Mitzi. In front centering pass, Ralph a step behind. Here's Noterman. He'll turn and fire one in front. Ralph will set down the loose puck to Jens on top. His drive is deflected up into the netting and will drop it inside the zone. Nine and a half into the third, it's two to one Rockford. As we approach the middle stages, of this third frame of game seven. And we're so much better with the puck in the offensive zone than in the defensive zone. Defensive zone, we're like one hand chipping and yeah. you know, kind of getting anything we can to get it out. Offensive, we look more comfortable with the puck and creating some opportunities. Face off to the left hand side of Nye. Mitzi will take it on top of the face off circle. Trapped in the skates, won it. Ralph had the stick picked up and it's cleared. Back the other way now, McLean. Dumped it in. Besser for Rockford down low. Around the far side wall, Noterman. Noterman sealed it off and cleared. Pass was a step ahead of Ralph. Wings dump it back in. Icing now waved off. Here's Jens. Jens touched it to Besser. Besser near side to Mitzi. Mitzi to the middle for Besser. It's picked up, Cabernigri. Cabernigri to the back end. Clutch here with a save, rebound in the corner. That one set up in front. Nobody there for the wings. Here's Ralph up ice to Mitzi. Two on two with Watson. Ralph will join the mix. Ralph looking for Ralph, or Mitzi looking for Ralph. And it's cleared up the near side to Campanigri. Over the line, his drive. Clutch here with the save. Not out a rebound, but it's poked to the wing. Mitzi now cleared the zone. Past the midway point, right there, the ice sucks were waiting for the puck, Tim. Marley pulled up, and then Johnson levels him. Next, that was Kendall, pass up ice for Ryan. Letizia, touch pass, held in. Detulio had it swiped away from him into the neutral zone. Marley got back into the play and flipped it in. Here's Hessler now, though. Around for Johnson, blocked there, Gillis now cleared. Icing waved off as Marley will chase it down. Looking up ice, tipped at the line, set. He'll bank it in. 11 minute mark, 2-1 Rockford. Brown down low. Almost lost it, got it back. Far side now, worked it up ice, in front of everyone. Icing waved off again, here's Fritzsche. To Lutz for Ulanski. Ulanski near side. Cleared the zone, right to the center ice line though. And it's hammered back in by Elzinga. Lutz for Rockford, behind the Rockford goal for Fritzsche. French will move the puck near side to Ulanski. Ulanski will gather it in. He'll touch it over the line. Doucette will chase. Down low there with Elzinga. Elzinga sealed him off. And then Doucette pinned against the wall by Brown. And the puck cleared to the neutral zone for Lutz to play. Lutz will use the far side wall. Now Brown to pick it up for Kalamazoo. Here's Elzinga to Brown. Brown in the middle. Over the line, far side. Dropped it off on top, Bootlin. Centering pass, picked off Noterman. Up to Ralph. Ralph will set down the rolling puck. Long drive and a glove save by Nye. Here's Bootlin. Around to Elzinga near side. Ralph will step in. Centering pass, Johnson shot. He missed it just high. Minute time out, Rockford by a goal on the Hogs Broadcasting Network. 7.51 left in regulation. It's 2-1 Rockford. Out shooting the wings, 30 to 25. What's on the line? Just the league title. Face off to Nye's left side. Neil Lansky will tag it against Carlander. Over 6,000 on their feet. And the draw, it's tied up down there. Slides free, Corvey down low. Wrapped up the far side wall, but Tony's is there. Tony's looking up ice. Threads it up to Bootlin. Bootlin will dump it in. Puck down low to Fritzsche. Fritzsche, backhands and looking for Corbet to hit the referee. Fritzsche out of the middle. Here's Ulansky, three on two. Ulansky now, far side to Johnson. In the middle, Lutz, he fanned on the one-timer. Puck rim to the point, Fritzsche will hold it in. And back the other way now, a long pass to McAllister for Willis. Willis in front for Moulin, who fanned on it. Now here's Fritzsche, near side. Lutz trying to dig it out, near side wall, it's cleared. Oh boy, that was a... Three on two, that was worked pretty well. Johnson with a good look up, but the pass just a step ahead of Lutz who couldn't connect. I'd rather see Johnson shoot that there. He was right in the middle of the ice, and he's got a wicked cannon. Whether and we goes, saw it right before the break. It disappears off his stick, it just doesn't go in the net. <laughs> Icing on Kalamazoo, 13 5 into the third. Two to one, Rockford. 
Colburn will take it against McLean. Colburn Watson into set. Jensen Besser on top. Off the draw, McLean fell down but won it anyways. Here's Marley. Marley's long pass up ice will be another icing. As it'll be touched up by Jen, so the Hawks catch a break All there. Right, so we'll bring it back to the Kalamazoo zone. Just announcing the attendance here and listen to him at the Metro Center. That's very impressive. The 11th largest crowd in Ice Hawks history. Face off to Nice left. Doucette and McLean, I should say right hand side. Doucette won that one falling down. Besser on top. Rimmed it deep near her side. Here's Watson. Cuts it off before Gillis could get there. Watson had it chopped away from him. Down low behind Doucette. Doucette now looking for Watson. Watson far side wall. Back to Doucette. Doucette hit by Gillis. Now Colburn to step in. Colburn near side. Watson. He'll pick it up for the Hogs to Colburn. Colburn, down to Watson. Watson now to Doucette. Doucette, back to Watson. He'll leave it in the corner far side. Caponigri over there. Picked it up, bumped off by Colburn, but it's cleared. And here's Lucas Drake who chipped it in. 14 minute mark here in the third. Two to one Rockford. Rimmed around, Ralph will clear the zone. Isinga will be waved off. Elzinga, a dangerous pass. Ralph a step behind, he'll get it back from Brown. Near side to Rycroft, over his stick. Letizia for Rockford now. Letizia left it behind him, now lost it. Jens cleared it to the point. Brown over, shot it down low. Banked up the near side wall. Ralph will race over to pick it up. Up ice to Mitzi. Mitzi over the line. Mitzi shot, Noterman picked it up, shot. Rebound loose. Ralph couldn't catch it, now got it in the corner. Here's Mitzi near side. He'll cycle with Noterman, now it'll slide to Ralph down low. Ralph to Norderman. Norderman, near side. Back to Ralph. Ralph in the corner now. Mitzi in to help. Norderman steps off. Corbet on. Hogs will try to kill time down there. Ralph will ram it in. Cor or Corbet will chase it down. Corbet down low. Ran into Brown. Now to Mitzi behind the goal. Mitzi looking. Mitzi dropped it off to Corbet. Ran into Elzinga. And here back the other way is to Tulio. He'll kick it up ice. Off ice for Ryan, centering pass, broken up. Now look out, Gillis, drive, was blocked wide by Hessler. Behind the goal now, Rycroft, working with Johnson. Carlander step in, puck will be forced free to Letizia. Letizia's board pass for Ulansky, and that's a should be an icing unless Ulansky can touch it, and he's cut off there by Gillis, and it's touched up by Kindle. Four and a half left in regulation, it's two to one, Rockford on top. They're all running a play. I mean, there could be a lot of little interference calls and stuff, but it's been enjoyable to call the game without talking about Searle has called a magnificent game. Face off to the right side of Cloutier. Yolanski and Carlander, and a big draw. Off the draw, tied up. Near side, one to the point, Bulin, looking, still looking. Johnson gets back up, Bulin, centering pass, picked up, Ulansky. Back the other way now, he'll gain the center ice line and touches it in, Rockford will change. Kindle down low now. He'll work it up ice, Kindle over the line. Willis had his pass blocked, got it back on top. Looking for Carlander down low, looking for Bulin. Carlander now, high slot area, swipe to the point. Shot in traffic, popped into the air. Lutz will knock it down. Lutz near side. His pass deflected into the Ice Hogs bench and will drop it in the neutral zone. 3.51 left in regulation, and not a soul sitting at the Rockford Metro Center. Both clubs will change lines. Mitzi's line out against the Tulio's line. Now we'll swap them again. Colburn's line out. Ralph and Watson out there. 
Off the draw to Tulio, swiped it to the wing. Corbin will chop it up the near side. Now Corbin trying to break through to slide over the line. And it's picked up by Brown for Elzinga. Elzinga looking near side. Long pass to Tulio. In the neutral zone behind Jens. And chopped up into the crowd. Caleb Betts hasn't played a whole much this uh, since the first frame. And you got to wonder if his injury, he is injured, is uh, nagging him too bad or too much. Could be, could be. I'm, I'm wondering if Steve's thinking here in the last three minutes he's going to have Missy and Ulansky together. I don't know. Uh, well, he just spotted him a little bit. Now he's putting Norman and Mitzi back out there with Ralph. And Mitzi won it from Detulio. Back in the Rockford zone. Jens, he'll flip it up ice, and that'll be an icing. And that wasn't a very solid play because it'll bring the puck back to the Rockford zone, and I guarantee Carlander's line will hop out. And there's an example of we had time to, to make a play, but we stood there and you know, did the chip thing, but it went, it went icing. And you're right now the Carlander's line's out there. Gillis and Kindle on top, actually Bootlin will play on top. Carlander will try to win it over his left shoulder to Nick Bootlin. 3.25 left in regulation, Rockford by a goal. Face off the Cloutier's right. Mitzi and Carlander, linesman waits and will reset. Off the draw, Mitzi won the big face off. Here's Jens now. Jens tied up over there. Wing converge on it, wrap it in. Besser far side wall. Besser trying to chip it free, deflected in front. Mitzi with banking up the near side for Ralph. Ralph now. Crossed it to the neutral zone. Gillis is there. To the middle for Willis. And he'll dump it in. Besser far side. Bootlin now. Forced it behind the goal to Willis. Centering pass in front. Carlander missed it just high. Here's Mitzi. Near side. It's held in on top. Mitzi got it back. Chipped it for Ralph. And that will roll back to the wings end. And this will be an icing on Rockford again, Tim. And right now the wings have the ice socks on their heels as the wings are in desperation mode. Well, I mean, the four check is simple. They know that we're taking no risks up the middle and they are really pinching hard with two and three guys on the boards and they're there, you know. It's that uh, catch 22, you know. You're, you know what we want to do is keep it outside and yet that's where they're going to be. So it's a, it's a tough one. And, you know, you're, you're playing the percentage chip out when actually we have opportunities. If we could reverse the puck, we could walk out a little bit. But it's, uh, you know, easier said than done, certainly in a high-stress game like this. 2.43 left in regulation, 2-1 Rockford. And I think they're discussing if the Wings had touched that puck before it was iced. And they're going to say they did not. So the Ice Hogs have to stay out there. DeTulio's line out, and he'll take Mitzi on in the face-off circle. DeTulio won it, here's Elzinga. Ralph converges on the point. Elzinga wrapped it in. Here's Mitzi, around for Norderman. Norderman fell down as he ran into Brown. Here's DeTulio, centering pass is tipped wide by Besser. Mitzi for Norderman, chopped it to the line, held in. Now Ralph over, puck into the air, Norderman bats it free. At the center ice line, Elzinga. That one wrapped in behind the Ice Sox goal. His pass is knocked away by Lucas Drake. And the corner, Fritja. Fritja dumped. Near side, it's chipped off the near side into the neutral zone. Rockford will get fresh skaters out. We approach the 18 minute mark. Brown, his dump in pass glove by Fritja. Fritja, banked it up ice looking for Johnson, but it's held. Near side wall. Wings cross it to the middle, Johnson knocks it down. At the center ice line, Johnson will touch it in deep. Brown down though. Shoves it near side. Long pass. Is knocked down by Lutz. Up ice to Johnson. Johnson for Corbet over the line. Corbet high slot. Shot. Goal! It is Corbet! He's run for the 3-1 lead! And they won 33 mark on the third period!
quick transition. We didn't go D to D. We went straight up, and we had a nice play. And then Corbet with a finish was just Wow, what a shot. Here is the goal call from Chris Colton. There's the goal call. The Wings will see when they pull the goalie down by a pair. Nye is coming out, looking at the bench. Now it's hacked in front. Kluche will cover. 118 left in regulation. Still plenty of time for Kalamazoo. Absolutely, you know. I mean, don't get too excited. Don't be a fan as a player. You need to take care of your business, do your job. Fans are here watching you guys play. Take care of business. When it's over, you can celebrate. Right now, it's all business. 118 left in regulation. The Ice Hogs are on top of the wings by a score of three to one. And now he does have Mitch and Yulansky together, Mike. The last minute 18. And he knows he'll get a timeout. Well, there we go. And this timeout on the ice will keep it here. It's brought to you by Genesis Hair Studio, the official hair salon of your Rockwood Ice Hogs. Call them at 815-654-6025. Genesis Air Studios located at 5420 North 2nd Tree. Mention the Ice Hogs and receive $2 off your next haircut. Now, you can't just ice the puck. I know they're, they're playing on adrenaline down there. You gotta clear the zone. And then once you get it to the center ice line, then go for the empty net. And a lot of times easier said than done. Number one priority here, Tim, correct me if I'm wrong, is just getting the puck out. Be on the defensive side of all scrums, get into shooting lanes, do whatever it takes. Now, I'm a big believer with a two goal lead with a minute left that if you have an opportunity, I'm willing to take the risk reward. If it's an open shot? If it's an open shot because the reward is the game's over and the risk is another face off. So, I mean, that's something that you guys decided as a team, though. Everybody agrees we're willing to either take that shot or we're going to get over the red line. And I tell you what, I'm glad I got my headset on. I just took them off for a second. It is deafening in here. Yes, it is. Face off the Kluge is right. Mitzi and Carlander in the circle. Off the draw, it's won there by Carlander. Mitzi to tie it up, it's worked down low. Fritschaw, hit by McAllister. He'll play in front, wrapped to the point, held by Bootlin. Bank down low, behind the goal. Lucas strikes, centering pass, Yulansky, he'll make a move. He was drawn down and no call. One minute left in regulation. Back the other way now, Ryan, chipped it at the line. Stood up there, Corbett will chip it free. He's in a foot race. Corbet far side. Corbet, oh, he hit there by Bootland and back the other way come the wings. Ryan, forced at the line by Ulansky. Ulansky sent down the mountain, puck chopped in front. Nobody there. Fritschow will chip it free. 30 seconds left, the Hawks will change. Johnson on. Drake at the line, popped off the far side wall. Johnson looking, shot, fired off the side of the goal. Johnson will try to chase it down. Gabriel Negri there, and Johnson almost prevented the icing. But there is 18.1 seconds, and Jazz Johnson fires up the crowd. <laughs> little razzle dazzle with Jazz. He's dancing on the ice right now. He's got to go to Wingding for you, Stoner. Yeah. By the way, stay tuned for the post game show. We'll bring you everything, full coverage. We'll go downstairs to Gemstone, the three stars of the game. We will bring you the trophy presentation. What a great interview with Steve, too. That'll be interesting. What a great job he's Number done. Number six. Yeah, I mean, think about that. Three different leagues. Off the draw, Rockford won it. Won it. Fritschaw, looking up ice, cleared it to the point. On top now, knocked down at the line, cleared. Nine seconds left. Brown, far side. Tulio, three seconds left. Shot camp and angry, the horn sounds. Rockford win the hockey champions. The Ice Hawks win the Colonial Cup. Stand proud, Rockford, you have a hockey champion. Sticks lit on the ice. Gloves all over the place. Complete pandemonium. You got Mike and Chris hugging up here and they've done such a Great job all year supporting this team. You got guys hugging everywhere. Rockford wins game seven. Three to one and look at them mob each other down there. Downstairs to Jim Stone who's in the middle of the whole thing. Absolute bad 
scrum down here. Wow! Chavs Johnson is dancing. There's a big scrum down at the bottom. I'm going to go grab Coach Steve Martinson and see what he has to say. He said this was the best team he ever brought here. Coach, God, how sweet is number six, buddy? I want to thank everybody for coming out. What a great crowd. 6,200 for our last game. Just on. You know, six championships, three different leagues. This is unbelievable, buddy. Well, it's been a long year, so this, I mean, this is great. I came here, you know, wanted to win and finally got it. You know what? It's, it's a storybook ending for this whole, whole thing. Yeah, it really is. It's, it's a great ending. Great bunch of guys and a lot of contributors. And just couldn't have asked for a better ending. Get it at home with 6,200. Absolutely. Congratulations, buddy. Thanks. That's Coach Steve wow. Martinson. And it's well deserved. And uh, it is the best team that this that this town has ever seen. Yeah, no question about it. It's unbelievable to see him win. To see this crowd was unbelievable. I'm going to hand this off to uh, Richard Brosell right now. And then. Uh, wow, what a game. Yoli. How's it feel, buddy? <laughs> yeah, you can't say that on the radio, but that's OK. He's excited. <laughs> Yeah, tell, tell me about it, man. That was that was a tense hockey game. We left everything out there that we had. Uh, in front of this crowd, it was hard to get tired. These guys kept us in the whole game. That was a huge goal by Cards at the end, kind of put it away there. So uh, I'm happy as hell right now. These uh, championships are kind of like old hat for you, aren't they? Well, I, it's a good thing. I mean, <laughs> I like winning, that's for sure. They never get old. Congratulations. By the way, how about the, how about the big mascot in the in the, yeah. in the handshake line? <laughs> At the end there? Yeah. Who should I go grab? How about Noterman? How about two two series clinching game winning goals. Talk to me, buddy. I can't. Oh, this is incredible. I'm absolutely gassed, but who cares? This is incredible. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, there's Preston Mitzi. Who do you want me how to grab? How about Frederick Cloutier? Fred probably the MVP of the final. Where's Freddie? We'll go grab him. Freddie, congratulations. All right, thanks. Now talk about uh, winning a championship. Boy, oh, it's awesome. It's the best feeling. And I mean, I, I can't explain my words right now. It's just, it's too good. I know you've been a part of championship teams before, but being able to uh, participate in it, you said you sat a little bit before to be a big part of it and a major part of it. What's that like? Well, it's always better when you play, I mean, when you're there and you're not playing, you don't contribute for the, you know, for the team. But you're always there mentally for the guys. This time was, you know, was my chance to prove that I can play in big games, and we did it. So it's awesome. You're outstanding. Congratulations. Thank you, it's Frederick Kaloutier of the Rockford Ice Hogs. The best goalie that we've ever had in Rockford. Let's go over here. The guy was here when we were not a good hockey team. He's here now that we're a championship hockey team. Nathan, congratulations, buddy. <laughs> How's it feel? Ten times better than I thought it would. Yeah? It's unbelievable. Talk about this game tonight, man. That was impressive. We, up. we said we don't lose at home, but we don't. It's unbelievable. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta go get something? Maybe he's got a he's got a Yeah, club. he does. He, he need, he's got something to get there, some yeah. hardware. All right. Now, uh, I'm going to have to, uh, when we start the ceremony, Jim, I'm going to unplug you to plug in the PA mic if I can find it. You do that. Where is it? There's the cup. It's out on the ice. Richard Brozell's out there. Yeah, you got to talk with Noterman at some point, too. I, you know what? After they get the cup and skate it around a little bit, I will grab them. I'll let you guys go back to doing it. All right. That sounds good. All right. That sounds good. And it looks like we're about ready. Thanks, Jim. We'll check back with you in a few. Jim Stone reporting ringside in... Uh, what a feeling those guys have to be feeling down there right now. Unbelievable, especially Frederick Lucia. Especially all of them, yeah, I mean, certainly. And yeah. Nathan Luce, captain from day one. Ladies and gentlemen, there you go. let's send it down to the ice with United Hockey League Commissioner Richard Brosell. Rockford fans, what a fitting way to uh, end my tenure with the booze from the fans. Thank you very much. All right, guys, are you ready for what you all came to witness tonight? Mr. Nathan Lutz, come over here. 
It is an honor and an extreme privilege to hand you for the very last time in my tenure the Colonial Cup to the Rockford Ice Hogs Colonial Cup champions.